English music flavor. I'm myself, Shashisha, aka Elisha. Tonight we have amazing, beautiful gospel artists in the house. Guys, I'm sure you guys are wondering what is actually happening. Guys, right now it's not about FMF meat, it's something special that we have for you guys. It is called Kingdom Talk, and I have beautiful artists in the house Tosin and Minister Yvonne how are you guys doing very well, very well. Thank you. yeah very well. right ladies before we start because I'm sure some of our listeners are not too sure who you guys are can you just give your skip introduce yourself just a little like maybe 30 seconds just a quick little something about who is Tosin and who is Minister Yvonne um I'll let you guys you know, choose who wants to start. <laughs> we'll stay wrong. You go first. <laughs> a very good evening to you, beautiful ladies. Elisha, I'm so honored to be here. This is my second time on your platform. Hey! That, that means that, that, that you're connecting with the spirit. Thank you for the opportunity. No problem. And to your viewers out there, how are you doing? God bless you. Thank you for tuning in. Of course, this is Minister Yvonne, your humble servant. That is all I do to serve. And um, where I minister the word of God through music music and rhythms and that is how far God has brought me and the ministry that he's ordained uh, me with. Of course, had loads of songs out there, still working on a lot of projects, uh, married with two beautiful boys and hopefully in future, maybe counting, I don't know about that. <laughs> 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 but hey, we thank you God for life being up for today and I can't wait to have a good time. Yay! Thank you, Minister Yvonne Tossin. It's down to you now. Yeah, hi everyone. Um, hi, um, Shashisha. It's so nice to be here again. It's my <laughs> second time as well. I've been on your show, so wow. it's a bit yeah. <laughs> yeah, to be here again. So thanks for always having us. And um, um, welcome, Minister Yvonne. It's nice to meet you as well. And I would like to say welcome to everyone joining us tonight um wherever you're watching from it's such a honor to be speaking to you all my name is Tosin Oyelakin I'm a minister of the gospel um through music through the sharing the word of God um through my writings as well because I do write um daily devotionals and I just love to encourage people you know going through wow. life you know with the word of God that he's encouraging me with basically and um yeah i'm a wife i'm a mom i'm a physiotherapist yeah i wear many hats basically yes. so, yeah. <laughs> and yeah i just love god's people i love being with god's people yeah That's thanks good. for having me wow so guys you have heard it you know they gave you guys a little cv a little bio this is what we like to call it here but you know what ladies is very different today right if i say this term could you guys tell me a little bit about this term what you guys think of this term the different hats of the life of a christian woman and the challenges what does that say to you guys I don't know who is going. <laughs> I mean, I'm more than happy to go Tosin or to go Minister Yvonne. You know, I'm more than happy, but I'm just throwing it out there. So the different hats that a life of a Christian woman and the challenges. What can you guys give me with that? Well, I'll go first this time. <laughs> I'll go first. Well, <laughs> well, well, as I said, you know, in my introduction, I said I wear many hats. And yeah, I that's think, why I laughed. <laughs> yeah. I think most women do because we're natural multitaskers. And I think that's how God creates us. And that's why we can, you know, be pregnant and be, you know, a homemaker, be carrying the babies, be looking after babies at the same time. Naturally, not to now talk of when you have a profession a full-blown you know profession that you are doing as well you may have a business on the side you yeah. have a ministry on the side as well and your ministry could have <laughs> on its own different branches like i'm doing music i'm writing i'm a teacher i'm a preacher oh, you wow. know so then you then um tend to have so many things that you are doing at the same time the challenges are always there because obviously we're mm -hmm. human and we 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 get tired um yeah. however if you are doing it um as someone who's powered by the holy spirit himself 
you know, as the Bible says, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. So we find that we get our strength, you know, to carry on, to keep going Mm -hmm. um, from the Holy Spirit who powers us, you know, causes us to do extraordinary things. I think for a woman to be able to do all of those things, it's got to be, you know, a supernatural (laughs) strength that is carrying that person. So it's not something that you naturally can do. And that's why this is no disrespect to men, you know, Mm -hmm. men find it difficult generally to do so many things at the same time but we are graced by the you know the the, the power of god that that lies on the inside of us to do all these things wow i mean i always (laughs) seem to say that we are multi-talented but yeah minister yvonne i want to hear a little bit yeah i'll tell you from where it wasn't uh ended uh, Mm -hmm. from having a comparison of a man i don't think uh men will be where they find themselves without women in their lives yes and that is where our climax of women to be an enterprise and mm-hmm. um, an enterprise full of rubies and all the good stuff the nuts um, <laughs> all the oils greased on grease all of that components hidden in that person yeah and that is why the book of genesis stated that they become helpless mm-hmm. and for anyone to be a helper that person must contain all these components to be able to mm-hmm. be a helper. Yeah. So without being an enterprise, you cannot help someone. And skilled and unskilled. Or no skilled mm-hmm. is me just barely being created out there, knowing that I am a woman because that is what Adam named me upon all the mm-hmm. names of creation. He said, mm-hmm. because he's a man, he wants to name me as a woman. So that fate I am. I'm grown up into a woman from a child, a girl child to a woman now being skilled that is also part of my enterprise that entity is all part of me aside when it comes to the mortal being the spiritual side where uh, a donor and something can be deposited in you and you do the multiplication Mm -hmm. all of that is part within a woman so a woman is a full enterprise that without which the world cannot exist that's so true i mean like with me i kind of i kind of struggle a little bit because sometimes there is too much this is just me being put like as a woman sometimes i do find it really hard for myself because you know like we say in that we do so many things having children you know when you have your your, your i mean i have three kids guys and i'm like sometimes i'm sitting there and i'm thinking i want to get back to how i was before but then i'm like i can't because you know i've carried these children you know how do i maintain myself as a woman and at the same time be multi multi talented in a way that is unexplainable to men you know it is a bit hard as well as a woman but how do you ladies like you know we are all married how do you ladies do it i mean in terms of marriage in terms of the kids in terms of your career how do you ladies do it because sometimes it can be overwhelming and yeah. sometimes this can also cause depression you yeah. know on a lot of people you know sometimes we may say that no we are okay but really and truly you're not okay you're just trying to go by day by day how do you ladies do it because not just by praying you know but physically and mentally how do we do it how do we maintain it maintain our home maintain ourselves so we don't lose ourselves yeah. i don't think any woman could say um that they are who they are today without having all of their <laughs> difficulties yes i mean you've got to face them you've got to go through them but then the ability to find in the balance is so important Ooh, yeah. i like lonely times sometimes when i say mm-hmm. lonely times without a man without a kiss so sometimes i just want to be just just me alone just i alone. love you i yeah, love you for I, that <laughs> that is one of the ways i reach over the next yeah. me alone in uh-huh. a beautiful environment even if it's a tiny room but then the serenity of it gives me so much mm-hmm. peace yeah. and that is where i take that breather and i'm like Okay, you know this is the one time. Yeah. I do this almost every day. To be, oh wow! To be honest with you, yeah, I do this almost every day, and oh, because nice. of that, I know I, I know the time my kids have to be in bed. By eight, I, I don't want to be hearing "mommy, mommy." Uh, no, I'm done. Yes, yes please, go to bed. Yeah, yes. So that is one of the ways I try to reach the night. There must be that point where each <laughs> woman must find a balance. Mm. Whether you are married 
you are not married specifically when you are married find out because mm -hmm. this is a person you are living with that you you do not even know like you're still trying to find him every day you can't yeah. even finish knowing yourself so you need to have that space where you can have that breather calm yourself down and tomorrow brings another day <laughs> I love that. I literally have to try that myself. I think yeah. I don't get a minute. But yeah, Tosin, what about you? I mean, tell me. I mean, to be honest, I think Yvonne said, you know, quite a lot there. And, and that's exactly what I do too. I, I find my me time. I, you know, I always give myself that regular, you know, time to mm -hmm. revamp, to, you know, roll back, you know, think about my day. Mm -hmm. how has the day gone you know sort of way up you know and reflect on how the day has gone and you can't do that without a routine so you have to put a routine in place for yourself for the family mm -hmm. for the kids you know if you don't have a routine it becomes chaotic mm -hmm. and i personally can function in chaos it overwhelms me and it you know drags me down so i like to have a routine in place where i know this is what i'm doing at this time at that time and i give everybody around me that routine as well and like yvonne said the kids know when it's bedtime prayer yes. time is prayer time we do the prayers and you all make your way to bed that's and that you know even before prayer time they all know doing your homework give me my space Go to your room, do your homework. <laughs> I need the space as well for myself. And, you know, they just leave me to it. I'm in the lounge by myself, just, you know, doing my meditation, writing my daily devotionals and doing those things that, you know, help me to distress, mm -hmm. you know, basically. And apart from the daily ones that I do there, you, you take a holiday, give yourself a holiday. Yeah. You know, if not by yourself, with the kids, with the family, go away somewhere and just, you know, have you know, fun time together yep. and yeah. forget about everything. You can take social media holiday. You can take holiday from anything that you're doing. And in fact, I find that I write songs better when I'm away from home. So my songwriting is a lot, you know, I, I flow, you know, even just <laughs> like in, in nature, you know, walking in the woods and all that. So yeah, yeah I find that when I take those times off, uh, my creativity is you know rebirthed it's renewed uh, uh, so to speak so every woman needs to have that time off for themselves with the family and just wow. have you know, routine in place for themselves wow. yeah. i mean i've learned a, a few bits in there i must say i'm going to be taking a few bits as well and put them in practice and when i next see you guys i will tell you how i have done okay but um also i just wanted to know in terms of christianity and not just in her home but also with her husband how submissive can a christian woman be so you are a Christian woman, uh, yes. but then the woman and the Christian, mm -hmm. a Christian woman. So, <laughs> you, 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 you see, you don't, don't take yourself out of it. Be, yes. be honest. You see, what, the one thing I tell people is, I can lie to you, but I can't lie to God and myself. That's it. No, I yes. cannot. When I finish lying to you, I look at myself like, nah, I messed up. <laughs> <laughs> but I know that I can't lie to, 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 mm -hmm. to myself. So the wisdom lies with the wise. So in home and with husband, you try and replicate the Abigail system. Okay. Where everyone seems to be the best and the perfect. But you chose the Abigail system seeking for peace it shows the abigail system looking for solutions hell is rising everything is chaotic nothing seems to be working i chose abigail i don't want Mabel to be all over the place and and cursing people here and there no i want to be the one meeting david going sure. on, uh, on his feet and saying david please my husband messed up can you forgive me <laughs> so you see is a, a system that you, it will make people tend to have that eye with you like mm -hmm. what's wrong with this one mm -hmm. but in the end it is your home your choice and your decisions when the doors are closed no one cares like that yes nobody cares so so yes. choose that system it gives you sanity it gives you peace and at the end the environment you raise in those kids 
a positive environment. It's so important. Because you have lived your life how many years, how many how old you are. Don't put these innocent ones under an environment that cannot be be determined. Give them give yes. them something better than you ever had. Wow. Tyson, what's your insight on that? I believe women are naturally submissive. Yeah. Um, that's how God created us. You know, when God was talking about, you know, how um, well then the Bible was saying, um, husbands love your wife, you know, the admonition, if you read that scripture, the admonition, it was more towards the men, but, you know, women submit to you. It was more like be who you are naturally. Mm -hmm. um, husbands love your wife as Christ loved the church. So the, exactly. there was more instruction for the men. It was more of an instruction for the men than for the women because women are naturally. That's how God created us to yeah. be, to yeah. keep to keep peace, to make the environment you know warm for the man because God created us to be a helpmate for him. So the DNA to be a helpmate for the man is already within us. Um, it's what you give to a woman that she gives back to you. Mm -hmm. All right, and you give mm -hmm. her, you give her a lot of peace. You replicate that peace and give it hundredfold back. However, you know it depends on the environment in which that woman is being nurtured. Um, his, it depends on how that person is nurturing that woman and what you are building her up to be. She already has it, but if you give her, you know, the other side of peace, she will replicate it as well. <laughs> <laughs> and give it back to you but for the christian woman that's yes. where the holy spirit comes in because a, 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 a woman who is already submitted fully submitted to god and the spirit of god naturally has the fruit of the spirit you know being produced within mm -hmm. them so even mm -hmm. when you're not giving them that peace they know how to turn that other side of peace you're giving them around to create still a peaceful environment so i believe in saying a woman has to be submissive first of all the woman has to be fully submitted to the holy spirit yes. to, the, to the lord before they can then make sure that whatever they are being given even if it's the opposite of what they should be giving back they know how to turn that around and still give what they need to give so submission natural to a woman yeah. But you need to, yeah, <laughs> know how to, you know, use that in the way that it brings what God has ordained for you to bring into the home, to the table. Wow. Oh, wow. Right. Now, I just wanted to know, obviously, as Christian, as couples, I want to know what are the values of a Christian couple? Okay, what are the values? What are values that we as a Christian couple or as a Christ as a married couple, what are the values that we need to have? First of all, I mean putting on the armor of God. I mean knowing yeah. Christ is so important. And Christ must be the center in every home, every of union, course. regardless it must be. Yeah. Uh, and some of the values are commitment, uh, respect and selflessness is so mm -hmm. important. The moment I agree to commit to you, it's not about me. It's about <laughs> you and I. So it is yeah. not, I did that. Oh, and I did that. No, we did that. You may have written that exams and you may have passed that exams, but maybe it's because I, somebody also held the keys somewhere. So you passed the exam. Oh, congratulations to us. We passed the exams. We bought that. You bought that. You let that because somebody had to hold a piece somewhere. So we did that. So it's so important that we become selfless to, to mm -hmm. each other, respect one another because um, a, a man is meant to love me and I'm also it's supposed to be there to be his helper. But, but then I, I also have to give him back what he's given me. So as I'm respecting the man, I'm respecting that back. Yes. I'm calling you, honey. Don't stand in front of me and say, hey, Yvonne. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I'm sorry, <man. laughs> Give me back what I'm giving you. It's, right. It doesn't take much, but it's all this commitment. Yes. It's commitment. Yeah. Okay. This is not me. But for me to make this work, can I choose this path? Mm -hmm. So it's the decisions that we make. To be mm -hmm. honest, these are not things that are easy to come by, considering oh, the fact God. that we are coming from different backgrounds, different yes. areas pleasing us here and there. But once again, commitment to each other, making Christ the center of it. That's it. That's it. Tyson, 
Yeah, I also think, you know, um, a marriage is a prototype of Christ and the church. Christ is the groom, we are the bride. Yeah. So what relationship do Christ and the church portray? All right, so Christ died for the church, loves the church, would give everything, um, supplicates for the church, you know, and heals the church, nurtures the church, grows the church, fights for the church. Yeah. So that is a groom. And the church, in return, um, God says, you will serve me and I will bless you in return. So the, the, the church serves God in return. So the bride serves the groom, you know, sees to his needs, praises the groom, honors the groom, you know, gives him the position of honor that he deserves. And that's what we as the church do for God. We honor him in all things. We praise him when we wake up in the morning. We adore him. We bring our requests to him. We listen to him. We take, you know, we, it's a give and take relationship. So yes. that's the covenant. So a marriage is a covenant relationship. And so it's not one-sided, never, ever one-sided. Never. <laughs> it is always both ways. When yeah. it becomes one-sided, that's where the problem starts. When one person is just like when Christ is loving us, is running after us, is wanting us, but we are saying, no, I don't want you. I want to do my own thing. That relationship breaks down. That's it. And that's when we don't see God around us anymore. We, you know, we're just doing our own thing. God is still there. His love is still there, but we're just not receiving it. So it's never, ever one way. And that's, you know, how a relation, a marriage relationship should be. That yeah. It takes two to build it. it. It takes both parties to be fully committed and to mm -hmm. know their roles and to play it. Yeah. <laughs> to That's so true. Home. Yeah, because God is coming for a bride, a church that is without spot and wrinkle. So, and that's how we should present ourselves in our marital wow. relationship as well. Wow, ladies. I mean, it is wonderful having mm -hmm. to hear this. I've literally picked a few bits left, right and center. Like for example, like what Minister Yvonne said when she's saying, honey, and you call me Alicia, I'll be like, no, 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 <laughs> call me honey back. But yeah, you know what, it, it is it is amazing having to hear, you know, these sort of things, because at the end of the day, this is what we need. We need to be sharing things in order for, you know, young women or maybe those that are married or maybe those that are going through difficulties, you know, they can always relate and be like, you know what? God is at the center of it all. You know, we can't just do it one way, it's both way, but at the same time, God is in the middle of it all. Now, ladies, what are the advice? This will be the last and then we're gonna switch it up a bit and talk about you ladies, okay? About your music. So don't worry. This one is the last of it. I just want you ladies to give an advice to a young couple that is planning to get married. What are the things that they should be putting into their future ahead? Just a little something for them. So what I'll say is a woman's dignity and integrity leads to her credibility. I repeat that again. A woman's mm -hmm. dignity and yes. integrity it leads yes. to her credibility. Wow. And it takes your whole life to have this credibility. But it takes one day to lose it. Mm. Mm. So, and when you lose this, it's so hard to rebuild. Wow. It is so hard to rebuild. The foundation must be solid. That's it. Do not do it because others are doing it. Find yourself worth. When I say find yourself worth, First of all, I need you to know who Christ is. Mm -hmm. Make him that person you go to in terms of everything. Practice that first. Don't put a married on. Let's start practicing that. Yeah. Christ becomes your friend. Let Christ be your cousin. The person you want to talk to, can we do that with Christ? Family is there. Mom is there. Dad is there. But can we do that with Christ first? Can we also take care of ourselves? Are we ready financially? Mm -hmm. Don't not go into any marriage and go and suppose I didn't want son. Don't, don't go and put any problems and <laughs> you want this because you're a woman. One way is we don't live in that era. <laughs> so can we have some financial bucket? It's so important. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because what I see a lot of people do, especially those getting married nowadays, they yes. find these 
uh, big machines and oh. huge places and you are invited and you are sat and you are quiet and in your mind I'm telling myself I'm going to buy another mortgage for this so but, but then I'm not sure that is what one is thinking about what is yeah. fun for but that fun thing is only one day that's it and when I come I am gone but I, that money could have done a lot if that's you're coming it. from that rich family my hands are up but even the rich one keeps working what's up uh. <laughs> Even the rich one keeps working. Yeah. So it's so important that your foundation must be strong. It must be like a tower. And your credibility should be hanging on it. Just so when the doom days comes, you don't fall. You stand. Mm-hmm. The Bible says the wind will blow. But that person will be standing. Mm-hmm. When you have to break protocols, you are breaking as like a study. But then for the right courses, because the foundation is strong. So do not just do it because every other person is doing it. Do not just do it because of societal pressures and family pressures and all the many reasons and he's tall and he's got blue eyes. No. Do it as that thing. That is nothing. Next to nothing. But that thing. That you know that you're going to grab and that's it. Mm-hmm. You grab it and that's it. Think like that. And think about that investment you are doing. And take that business venture of marriage to the next level. Wow. I mean, that just sums it. That just sums it up. Mm-hmm. I mean, so soon. Tell me your intake. Literally. Well, yeah, I believe with wisdom, the Bible says a house is filled with so many beautiful things. Yeah. Anybody can build a home. Anybody can get married. Anybody can, you know, just build a family. But how do you fill that home with beautiful things, with joy, with peace, with the, you know, the, the, the kingdom of God, basically. And, you know, with the togetherness that you both went into the marriage for, um, it's wisdom. And nobody has, you know, the wisdom to build any marriage without the Holy Spirit. That's and that's why marriages are breaking down left, right and center. That's why the rate of divorce is yeah. rising and oh, it's as oh. high in the church as it is outside the church. Mm-hmm. So it's not just a religion thing. It's not because they are not Christians. But why do we have so many marriages breaking down today? It's because... We're not seeking, you know, wisdom from he who actually created marriage, you know, who made it, you know, it was God. So how do you build a home and keep it is by going to the original planner of marriage, the original creator of it. What is your blueprint for marriage? What is your, um, what is your manual, so to speak, for making, building a home? So the home has to be built with the wisdom that God only can give by his Holy Spirit. Um, and to be honest, you can never know a person during courtship until you start living with them. So you can't have long courtship, you know, court for a long time so that you get to know one another very well until you start living with that person in a marriage relationship. Even some people who cohabit before marriage, they get married and that marriage breaks down. So it's not even that, you know, because when you start living together, you start seeing a lot of things. You start noticing a lot of things that you never noticed before. (laughs) How do you deal with that? You know, so it takes a lot of wisdom to keep your love going, to keep, you know, the relationship communication going. And I would say, seek for the wisdom of the Holy Spirit. If you're going into a marriage, ask him to help you to reach this home, to live with this person, to know them, to be patient with them. And the fruit of the spirit, as I said earlier, sums it all of love, kindness, goodness, gentleness, meekness, all of that. There is no way. The Bible says with the, um, against this, there is no law. So that means if you practice, if both people practice that and allow those fruits of the Spirit to be demonstrated in them and through them for the other person, there is no law that will come and judge you and say you've not done it well. That's and there it. is nothing that will break that relationship down. Yes, the storm will blow. Yes, you will have you know, you know, times of difficulty and all that. But with that fruit of the spirit in both of you, you can weather any form of storm and you can stand. Your home will stand definitely. 
Wow. I mean, ladies, it's been great having to hear, you know, your your side of it. Honestly, I've learned so much. Now, let's just switch it up a little bit because I know you ladies have had latest music release. Can you ladies just give us a little bit about what's been happening in your life, in your music, what we are expecting from you guys. I know Yvonne, you've just released a song as well. Tosi and you as well. Just tell me, tell me a little bit about your latest tracks, ladies. So it's been covered door, but I think we've been very busy. If you if you check the records. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've been very busy. I've been in Ghana, I, I toured Ghana. I know. Um, yeah, I thank God for traveling mercies. I'm back in wow. the UK. Yeah, Amen yeah, to yeah. that. So humble to be back home. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Shida, the trending song, all of the yes. place. Yeah, it's all there. The meaning is unskiven. Um, with my brother, Minister MOG uh, from Ghana. Um, this, this, this song is just us saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Um, everyone is talking about it, and so it's not yeah. even about me. This is what God will do when He is the focus, and when you also allow Him to speak to you. It's so yes. There at the moment, I also have um, a change of workout video coming out soon. Mm -hmm. But yeah, by the grace of God, we've, we've completed that. I mean, I'm like, geez, is that you? <laughs> and, and, and saying that, I'll, I'll say a massive thanks to my team, Yacht Ministries team, yeah, the team in Ghana, the team in Nigeria, and the team in the UK. Okay, amazing team. If I, I tell them I don't deserve them, but I know it was Christ so, has, it's so nice. Christ has a reason for bringing them to my life, you know. Yeah. Uh, my my stylist to, uh, to the set designers to the director i yes. mean god bless them it was, but when i mean creativity comes together these are some of the things that you see uh, they work so hard and i'm so humble to help them if they are watching me i want them to know that i see them i pray yeah. for them and Amen. as a young they should just take me as i am i can be a little bit smart sometimes <laughs> no i don't like that can, can we do that i don't like that but all of that they're with me. <laughs> That's good. I mean, Tosin, if you've not seen it, you need to check it out. I will. I definitely will. It's amazing. Like, the whole outfit, everything about it. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you need yeah. to check it out. But yeah, yeah Tosin, tell me as well about you. What's been going on? What's been happening? What's Tosin been up to? Come on, tell me. Yeah, Um. well, Tosin's been up to a lot. Um. <laughs> <laughs> the lockdown hasn't locked us down, thankfully. Oh, cool. uh, we yes. kept going. So I had been putting that uh, together, you know, quite a few um, songs. So I've just released my second album um, that was released a couple of, well, end of October. So co coming to a couple of months now. And out of that, I've released um, a video um, mm -hmm. from one of the um, tracks. So that is great. And that is the one that I'm focusing on at the moment, promoting nice. at the moment. So, yeah. Yes, the great, greater is just a song that talks about, you know, the fact that greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. You know, when you think about, you know, um, the world right now, by the way, the album is called Your Kingdom Come. So, wow. every song, yeah, every song is geared towards, you know, knowing who you are, the kingdom of God, you know, proclaiming, you know, um, the, the power that you have and, you know, who God is in your life, you know, and, you know, worshiping him generally. So greater is just saying greater is he that lives in me than he that is in the world, you know, proclaiming it and stating it because we're facing so much in the world that, that, that you know, that we're going through at the moment. Um, we're going through COVID. We have a lot of things happening um out there and we are just facing so much you know mm -hmm. um so it's just reaffirming that we have somebody who lives in us who is greater 
Amen. And who has overcome on our behalf. And we are more than conquerors because he has made us more than conquerors. That's it. Yeah. Born of his spirit, washed in his blood. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, name of the Son. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Ladies, you know what? It's mm -hmm. been amazing catching up with you two. I mean, more of Kingdom Talk. More of Kingdom Talk. Um, if there's anything you guys, you know, want to highlight or say, this is your time because we'll be finishing right now. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything that you ladies would like to add on to our Kingdom Talk today? So once again, I want to say a massive thank you to you and your team for doing this. It's amazing. And I know lives will be touched. People try to get into this business venture of marriage. I call it a business venture because I know uh, it is one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll take your stance and they will do it the godly way. Amen. Which is, the, is what I'm, uh, I'm so passionate about. So I, I, I thank you for this opportunity. Of course, follow me on all social media platforms, Minister Yvonne on Instagram, Yvonne Asamoah TV, on YouTube, uh, Facebook, and across the board. Also, stream our songs. Stream for uh, us. Yes. Stream <laughs> Tosi songs and support support, support. Wow. but yeah Tosin where can our listeners catch you please yeah so thanks everyone for joining today um, you can catch me on all social media pl platforms I'm on Instagram and Facebook as Tosin Oyelake official I'm on YouTube I'm on um, Twitter as Tosin Oyelake so it's just the brand name Tosin Oyelake type it on all the social media platforms my music is available on iTunes on Amazon on Spotify everywhere on YouTube Tosin Oyelake God bless you guys it's been a pleasure having you guys in the house and you know Thank what you. today was an FMF meet but it was Kingdom Talk can you ladies say Kingdom Talk Kingdom Talk. Yay! <laughs> right, ladies, it's been a pleasure, and hopefully, we will see you very, very soon. And Thank you. God Just bless you guys. Amazing meeting. I'm humbled meeting. God bless you. Same here. Same here. Uh, God bless you. You're listening, you're listening to, to a, a fresh, fresh music, music flavor.